Greetings, it is I, the Great One himself, Seneca Libertarian Society, C-Y-N-L-I-B-S-O-C.com, on the motherfucking interwebs. I'm here with some CLSology for your bitch asses. Also, a martini. The martini is not for you. The martini is for me. <clears throat> Girls, women, ladies, females, victims, feminist, whatever it is you want to call yourself, there's a reason why people who actually achieve things in life don't fucking take you seriously. That reason is you. It's because you're a dumb fucking cunt. Let's talk about some dumb fucking cuntness for a minute. Those of you who listen to this cast know that, among the other things I do, I do some photography. Specifically, fashion-type photography with hot young bimbos, which people always think, ooh, you get to hang out and take pictures of all these really pretty girls. That must be awesome. It's not, because most of them, I mean, they look very attractive. The truth is, most of them have the fucking personality of a turnip and the intelligence of an onion. And it's just that fucking simple. Hold on a second, there's something happening on the computer that, god damn it. Never mind. I was stoned and I missed it. I was stoned. So, speaking of girls, I have an OkCupid account and I use it every now and then just to... I mean, I don't know why, honestly. There are a lot of people out there who have a lot of success with OkCupid. Troublemaker is one of them. Troublemaker, he... I want to, What's his fucking website? I think it's thisistrouble.com. He and I are Twitter buddies. We tweet each other very now and then. Troublemaker has written a book about meeting girls on OkCupid, how to go about doing it. I have the book. The fuck did I step in? It's not dog shit. Don't worry. I have the book. I haven't read the entire thing yet, but I've started reading it. I'm so far. It, it's well written and it's informative. Of course, OkCupid is always changing things. They've changed shit again. You don't have your fucking bookmarks anymore, so you can't see who's actually online, which makes it pretty much completely fucking worthless, which is probably the point. But I was going to throw this out. I have noticed lately a huge increase in, first of all, the number of spam accounts on OkCupid, but second of all, the number of trannies on OkCupid. We won't talk about trannies today. I'm just pointing out that if you are on OkCupid, be very careful because any profile... Well, if you're a man, if you're a woman, I don't really give a fuck about you at this point. If you're a man, be very careful because a good 50% of the profiles are either some kind of weird spam account. I don't know what their point is. Like, are they trying to get a credit card number? Or, you know, like, what what is the purpose? Like, how do you scam somebody out of anything worthwhile on OkCupid. Right? I mean, and I'd love to figure it out because if I could scam stupid, horny beta males out of money via OkCupid, I'd love to know how to do that. I'd go on OkCupid and pretend to be a girl if I could get money. But I'm not really sure how you would go about doing that. And then they're just the trannies. Holy... And this is where I'm at in the People's Republic of Fort Collins. This is not like in some big metro city like Houston or New York or Los Angeles or Chicago or something. I mean, this is, this is here in the fucking People's Republic of Fort Collins. It's like this massive number of trannies. Anyway, speaking of trannies, let's talk about girls. I had a revelation today, and that revelation was this. Now, I've talked in the past about how women cannot, ex they do not exist unless they're being observed from outside, right? I've talked about how women are like Schrodinger's cat. When Schrodinger's cat is in the box, you don't know if it's dead or alive 
because nobody's observing it. And the process of observing the cat influences its existence or non-existence. And I have pointed out that women are the same way. If a woman is not being observed by other people, then from her perspective, she doesn't exist. And this is why women are attention whores. This is why if you look at the Facebook or Instagram feed of any fucking dumb bimbo under the age of 30, it's nothing but selfies because they're just desperately trying to get the attention of other people in order to validate them. Speaking of that, somebody on the Facebook posted this article about how someone was taking pictures off of some girl's Instagram account and then reposting it on their Instagram account and pretending they were this girl and how this one guy fell in love with her. Never met her because she wasn't really real. I mean, the girl in the photos was real, but they were being reposted by somebody else pretending to be different. You know, and it's like an article written about this and I'm thinking, ooh, fucking slow news day. People have been on the internet pretending to be other people since the first motherfucking two dial-up modems allowed two people to get on the internet at the same fucking time. So that's the other thing to keep in mind. If you're communicating with a girl on the internet, first of all, it's probably a spam account. Second of all, it's probably a tranny. Third of all, it's probably not a real girl. It's some person downloading somebody else's photos and pretending for whatever reason. I don't know why. I'm not a fucking mind reader. Again, if there's a way to make money out of this, tell me what the fuck it is. Because if I can make money by taking money from beta males on the internet by pretending to be a girl, I'll fucking do it. I, as I have said before, stupid people have money so they can give the money to smart people. That's why they have money. Okay, if whatever, take it from. Anyway, let me get around to what the fuck I wanted to talk about because I have a lot of shit to do. I have a lot of shit to do. Like, drink this martini. In the process of. Anyway, the revelation is that women because they don't exist unless they're being observed. They go through their entire life focusing on, is anybody looking to me? For example, let's say that I walk into a restaurant. Now, as I walk into a restaurant and I'm walking up to the hostess, there's a number of things that are going through my mind. And what's happening in my mind is probably something like this. So I walk in the door, and th this is, remember, these are all thoughts, and this is all going through my mind really fast. It takes, what, five seconds to get to the hostess stand, if that. So all of this is happening in less than five seconds. I'm walking up, and I'm thinking, ah, shit, that's, I gotta go flip the roast. All right, never mind, I'll have to do it later. All right, now I have a fucking deadline. All right, here we go. So I'm walking to the hostess stand. Here's what's going through my brain. I'm thinking, I hope the hostess is cute. I hope my waitress is cute. Hmm, I wonder how the state's going to fuck me over today. Did I listen to the latest episode of Aaron Cleary's podcast or not? God damn it, did I leave the fucking stove on? Ah, shit. What am I going to do for my next photo shoot? I really need to go trail running. I wonder if the waitress is going to be cute. The waitress better fucking be cute. If the waitress is not cute, I'm going to be pissed off. God damn it. What do I need to do that I forgot? I'm sure I forgot something. When's the next time I'm supposed to be at a fucking theater for a gig? What am I doing tomorrow? Where the hell is my fucking schedule book? I don't know what the fuck I'm doing tomorrow. I better, when I get home check to see what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing tomorrow because I don't remember. Mm, I wonder if the waitress is going to be cute. I wonder if the hostess is going to be cute. So that's, that's a brief rundown of what goes through my brain in less than five seconds. Today I had a revelation. In that same five seconds, here's what goes through the brain of a woman. 
And yes, I know you're going to tell me that the, there are some women who are exceptions. Fuck off and die. I know that. I'm not talking about the exceptions. I'm talking about the 99%. We've been over this multiple times. Here is what goes to the brain of a woman in a five-second time frame. I wonder if other people are noticing me. I wonder if other people are noticing me. I wonder if anybody is looking at my selfie on Facebook. I wonder how many people have liked my selfie on Facebook. I wonder if anyone has liked my selfie on Facebook since the last person who liked it. I wonder if anybody's looking at my Instagram account. I wonder if people are seeing my Instagram account. And I wonder if they're seeing my selfie on my Instagram account. And I wonder if people are liking my selfie on my Instagram account. And I wonder if people in this restaurant are looking at me. Are people in this restaurant looking at me? I hope people in this restaurant are looking at me. Is there anybody in this restaurant who isn't noticing me? Is there anybody in this restaurant who hasn't seen my selfie on Instagram? I wonder how many likes my selfie on Instagram has. I wonder how many likes my selfie on Instagram has. I wonder how many likes my selfie on Instagram has. I should look and check my selfie on Instagram to see how many likes it has. I should look at my selfie on Instagram while all these people in the restaurant are looking at me because I hope people are looking at me and noticing my selfie on Instagram and my selfie on Facebook because I hope people are looking at my, felf at my, at my selfie on Facebook and Instagram because there are all these people in the restaurant looking at me because I have a selfie on Facebook and Instagram and people need to like my selfie on Facebook and Instagram and there are people seeing my selfie and my selfie is on Facebook and Instagram and is there people in the restaurant who don't know my selfie is on Facebook and Instagram? That's what goes through the brain of a woman in a five second time frame. Upcoming photo shoot. I got this one dumb bitch who's been emailing me for the past two fucking months. She wants me to take her fucking picture. I'm like, okay, look, we're going to meet today, interview. We're going to meet. And she's like, oh, somebody, you know, this, uh, oh, my parrot had an existentialist crisis. I can't meet. Oh, God, whatever. So anyway, it's like today we're going to fucking meet. We're going to do an interview and talk to her, see if we'll take a picture, see if she wants to work with me, yada, yada, yada. Supposed to meet. I'm at the place, I'm hanging out, the time comes, the time goes past, the time goes way past, not a fucking message, not a text, you know, nothing. She just doesn't fucking show up, completely fucking, again, just inconsiderate. And she can't play the, oh, somebody in my family died card because somebody in her family died like two fucking weeks ago, okay? So the dead, the dying people in your family are done, you're finished with that for a while. Just completely fucking flaky. Women don't understand why they make less money than men, even though they actually don't. As the statistics, the, 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 the statistics have shown, single women without children actually make slightly more money than men with the same qualifications, but you can't convince women of that because women don't fucking understand how to do math because they're a bunch of goddamn dumb fucking cunts. Now, and yes, I know, you know the exception. You know this one woman who's really good at math. Nobody gives a fuck, okay? I'm not talking about her. I'm talking about the other 3.5 billion who are all fucking dumber than shit. So she doesn't show up. Total fucking flake out. And again, it's, it, it's working with women is just like dating women. Just the same way women flake out. Oh yeah, the one I talked about a while back, I met she totally fucking flaked. Again, not a surprise. I mean, this goes back to what I've said. You can't get angry at women for being flaky because it's like getting angry at fire for being hot. It's the nature of the beast. What kills me is when fucking whores want to know why people like me don't view them as equals. Right? When you're a goddamn flaky ass bitch, when you flake out, when you say, oh yeah, text me, we'll go out, and then you don't re fucking respond. When you say, yeah, we're going to meet today at this time, at this place, and you don't fucking show up. This is why nobody has any fucking, well, nobody who has self-respect, nobody who has standards, has any fucking respect for you. You dumb fucking whore. So then this other one, she wants to come to the photo shoot, but we, she wants to bring all of her goddamn friends. And I'm like, well, no, I'm not going to have time to take pictures of all your fucking friends. And she sends me this email, and it's like, well, if my friends can't come, I'm not going to come. Like, was this supposed to be a fucking threat? I mean, do you think you're fucking threatening? You're not paying me. You can suck a great big motherfucking dick. 
You are not, you really think you're going to fucking threaten me by saying that if your friends can't come to the photo shoot, you're not going to come to the photo shoot? Do you expect me to fucking what? Like I'm supposed to be like, oh my God, I have to have you there because you're the greatest model in history and you're so beautiful and I just can't do a fucking photo shoot without you? I mean, what the fuck is going? Oh, I know what's going through her mind. What's going through her mind is... I wonder if anybody's seen my selfie on Instagram. I have a selfie on Instagram. I wonder how many people have liked my selfie on Instagram. I wonder how many people have liked my selfie. I should check my selfie on Instagram again to see if anybody else has liked it. I wonder if anybody else has liked my selfie on Instagram. Okay, look. You fucking dumb cunts. You've got to understand the reason men like me think you're a dumb cunt isn't because we hate women. It's because of your fucking actions. It's because you say you're going to do shit and you don't do it. It's because you expect people to kiss your ass all the fucking time. It's because you're a self-centered dumb bitch. Okay. I don't dislike you because I hate women. I love women. Met another girl today. It's, I think she has a boyfriend. It's a long story. I'm not going to go into it. But anyhow, the point is made contact with another one today that I have actually been eyeballing from a distance for a while. We're going to see where this goes. I'm not making any... I'm not saying I'm going to fuck her tomorrow night or anything. I'm just saying they're potential. There's always potential. I mean, potentially, potentially, 1000 Is there such thing as a $1,000 bill? Potentially, $1,000 bills could fall from the sky right now and I could become rich. Potentially. It's not very probable, but potentially it could happen. Anyhow, I don't hate women. I love women. I'm just like all, like many other men who are sick of your shit. I'm sick of your fucking shit. I'm sick of your fucking flakiness. I'm sick of your fucking attitude. I'm sick of your need to constantly have attention. I'm sick of your inability to recognize that, you know, other people don't. I didn't really finish this thought. Here's the thing. This is the this is the other part of the revelation I came to is, as I came to the revelation about what goes through the mind of a dumb broad, it occurred to me that two women, other individuals don't exist, and this is why. See, all this comes together. It really does. This is why women don't give a shit about being flaky whores. This is why women don't give a shit about being flaky cunts. This is why women say. You know, here's my phone number, text me, we'll go out, and then they ignore you. This is why stupid cunts say, I will meet you on this day at this place, and then they don't show up. The reason the dumb fucking cunts do this is because they don't see other people as individuals. And it's just not just men, because, I mean, women treat other women this way too. The dumb cunts... Again, I don't want to hear about how you know a woman who's a fucking exception. I'm not talking about her, you stupid motherfucker. Okay, I'm talking about the 99%. The majority, the ones that are the femistatist, the ones that are the dumb cunts, the dumb cunts look at other people and they don't see individual people. They see a massive organism that is there only to pay attention to them. It's just like you and I, as we're sitting here, we're not thinking about the individual cells in our body. Right? We think about our body as a whole, as a mechanism through which we interact with the world, we get sensory input, we do things, we get up, we move around, we move objects, we wash the dishes, we record a podcast, we cook a pot roast, right? Our body is a mechanism for interacting with the outside world. For the dumb cunts, they don't see other people as individuals any more than we see the individual cells in our bodies. They see everything outside of them as a tool as a mechanism for reinforcing their ego. Everything, every person outside of them is not an individual person, but is a member of this overall greater organism, which is there only for the purpose of paying attention to their selfies. 
and giving them the attention and the validation they need in order to feel good about themselves. And this is why they're dumb cunts. And I'm just, I'm just, I'm so fucking done with it. I am just re, Roosh, I'm, we're going to talk about, I'm going to talk about Roosh in the future. Because Roosh has written some, a number of blog posts lately, which are amazing. And one of them, and I've skimmed them. This is, I haven't read them in depth. I have skimmed them. And there is one of them in which I'm pretty sure Roosh outs himself as a feminist. I got to read it in depth. And if, in fact, it is saying what I think it's saying, you're going to hear an entire podcast about it. Because if Roosh is saying what I think he's saying, I'm incredibly disappointed in him, and I want to find out, I want to find out exactly how he got this sand in his vagina. Anyhow, Roosh has written some brilliant shit lately. Where the fuck was I talking? Oh, Roosh wrote a brilliant blog post lately in which he talked about how he's reached this point where he's not really convinced that a woman can add anything to his life. And I'm reading this and I'm going, Jesus fucking Christ, this is one of the reasons I read Roosh, is because many times he articulates shit that I'm thinking and does a really good job at doing it. And I'm reading this and I'm thinking, you know, the motherfucker's on to something here because I really feel the same way. I love ch- I love girls. Girls are great. But... I have not met a woman who could really add anything unto, into my life. I mean, other than perhaps the vagina. I mean, they just, they don't have intelligence. They don't have skill sets. They don't have dreams and thoughts and creativity. They're not willing to push themselves to achieve anything. They just want to fucking sit on the couch and watch Netflix and get drunk. And here in Colorado, smoke dope. I'm just, and you know, and this is why there's. I have this whole list of things that instantly disqualify women, right? Piercings, tattoos, owning a dog, smoking dope. It's like as soon as I find out you any of those things are going on with you, you're gone. I don't have time for your fucking worthless ass bullshit because you're just telling me you're a worthless, goddamn lazy, parasitical fucking whore. But it's true. It's like when you think about what can a woman and this is the thing I understand a woman could add many valuable things to my life this is why I still like girls the point though is finding a woman capable of doing those things gee <laughs> Christ I mean it's there there's nothing out there man there's nothing out there the women these days are so fucking, they're worthless. They're these shallow, dumb, self-obsessed, stupid bimbos. We've been down this road before. I don't need to go down this road. You've heard this before. And yes, yes, I agree. The boys are no... F- dude, there's these fucking dude bro frat boys that live near me. Their, their thing is they stand in their yard and they take a baseball bat and they hit smashed beer cans with the baseball bat out towards the fucking, over the house, out towards the fucking road. And they stand out there and they scream as loud as they can, dude, fuck, dude, dude, whoa, fuck, man, dude, that was a home run, dude, fuck, man, that was all the way in center. I mean, they just scream as loud as they can. And they're just so fucking drunk and so fucking stupid. And like, this is what 20-year-old girls have to choose from. And you wonder why 20-year-old girls are so fucking stupid and worthless and why they're these self-obsessed fucking cunts. I mean, they have nothing to choose from. There's not a fucking man available to them. Not, Not one fucking man is available to them. Dude, dude, fuck, man, dude, that's a fucking home run, dude. There's not a fucking man available to them. So I understand why 20-year-old girls are just dumb fucking cunts. Because there's, again, it, it's the cycle, right? You've, you've got to, 
you, you have to raise your standards to find a good man or a good woman, but in order to be motivated to raise your standards to find a good man or a good woman, there has to be the possibility of finding a good man or a good woman. And God, I, you know, as much as I despise the fucking millennials, the filthy little nasty goddamn disgusting asses, at the same time, I feel sorry for them because I look at them and it's like, my God, you people are just stupider than shit. And the few of you in your generation who have your shit together, you have nothing to choose from. I mean, fuck, I have nothing to choose from in my generation. Look at, I mean, God damn it, I would not fucking, I wouldn't, it, it would be a, I don't want to say never, never say never. For me to fuck a woman over the age of 30, she'd have to really be amazing. I don't think any woman can be that amazing. I mean, I don't, I, I don't think I've ever banged anything, even dated a girl over 25. And I'm over 25, let's just say that. Let's say this. If a girl's 25, I could be her fucking father. I've never, I don't think I've ever been with a girl. No, I have one. There's one girl who is actually older than me. Other than that, all my chicks have been under 25. And I look at women, you know, over the age of four, over the age of 30, they're all these single mothers who are fucking worthless. Under the age of 30, they're these fucking self obsessed, fucking selfie posting, shallow, dumb whores. I mean, there's nothing out there. There's nothing out there I want anything to do with. And they can't even fucking follow through on showing up when they're supposed to show up or responding to a goddamn text because they're just wandering through life wondering whether or not anybody is paying attention to their motherfucking selfies on Instagram. 